How we doing there boys and girls, Matthew's here and welcome back to another video. Well this is the information we really wanted for a long time, yes it is official, the Dragon Isles is going to launch on November the 28th. It appears that the, uh, the juicy leaks that we had a few weeks ago, uh, speculating that it would come out on November the 28th, were true. Big question for me is going to be, is that pre-patch going to be on October the 25th? We will have to find out. But let's take a little bit of a look about what Blizzard have got to say about this. Uh, gather your friends and alloys and make ready to soar into the new adventures of the World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Expansion goes live on November 28th. They've given us a little announcement trailer. Should we have a little watchy rooney of this? I think we need a little watch of this, don't we? 28th of November. There's our dragons. Discover Dragonflight. And beckon the Dragonflight's home. It looks good. The future will unfold as it was meant to. I am so excited. <laughs> what is yet to come? Biggest expansion yet, by the looks of things. Playing the beta, it definitely feels that way. Hippos! Where's the ducks? We need the ducks! Oh, that's better than a duck. Events are unfolding that imperil us all. The threat is greater than you know, young ones. Skinny lizards for the win. balance upon the cusp of destiny. Hey, it's a good trailer, you know. I'm enjoying this. Cinematics are looking nice. Yes, boys and girls. Oh, of course, they had to sneak in the pre-purchase. Of course, they sneaking in the pre-purchase there. Well, there we go. So, we get to discover the Dragon Isles. Some of you who've had beta access up until this point will have experienced this in a little bit. Beta's, weirdly, in a real... Uh, it's a bit of a clown fiesta on the beta today. The recent patch has completely bricked one of the entire zones, but let's hope they get that fixed. Uh, four new zones for those who are playing catch up a little bit. The Waking Shores, the Anaran Plains, the Azure Span, and then Thaldrassus. Four very, very big zones. Some of the largest zones that they seem to have made so far. The entire landscape feels massive. Uh, there's the new class, the Drakthir Evokers. Some people have been testing this out and been having a blast with it. Probably one of the class that has gone through the most changes and iterations in its, you know, coming into the game, uh, at least from one from, from my past experience anyway. They've gone through multitude of changes, a few uh, a, a, f a few unhappy customers with features like Saw, uh, but let's hope they can smooth that out and that can all be in hunky-dory shape for the launch. And there's a new starting zone, the Forbidden Reach. If you get access to the beta, this may end up, I wonder, I wonder if the Drakthir Evoker will come in with pre-patch doesn't necessarily state players will menace their foes with the new Drakthir Evoker World of Warcraft's first ever race and class combination. Able to switch between humanoid visage and fearsome draconic form, the Drakthir are highly mobile and their unique Evoker class can specialise in ranged damage dealing or aiding their allies as a healer by harnessing the mystical gifts of the dragon kind. Uh, it doesn't state whether this comes in in pre-patch or not. We still don't know the answer to this. I would really hope that we get to play around with the Drakthirs at the pre-patch, give people a little bit of a time to have a play with them, get used to them before the game goes live and we all storm into the Dragon Isles. But we'll have to see how that ends up. Uh, dragon riding is one of the big new features. Dragon riding is really, really fun. Uh, it has its own talent tree. It has its own skill tree, which you can work through. You can work through it at your, your pace. You can zip zip about and level all in one go if you wish. And once you have got your dragon maxed out, he's uh, remarkably nimble. And with some recently added controller support for, for dragon riding as well, it's going to feel very, very interesting. Um, loads of cosmetics for your dragon as well, which is nice for those that like to tweak and adjust that not just their own transmog, but that of their, their new dragon friend as well. Talent system is being completely revamped. Uh, I personally have not paid too much attention to the to the new talent system as of yet. 
I wanted to let Blizzard kind of get to the point where they're happy with it and it's just like balancing and tuning and then I'll dive in and have a little bit of a look for some of the classes I play. But every single new class and spec has got a full talent revamp, which is feeling very, very nice. And then the big one, the big one for people who are probably watching this video is going to be the update to the professions. The professions are being completely revamped. Uh, there's so much to be done with the new professions. Even gathering is getting a revamp. I, was, uh, I almost caught myself on stream today saying that gathering looks fun. Uh, yes, I can't believe it either, but gathering is going to look just as fun. Spec trees, uh, quality, uh, there's a whole bunch of new systems to the professions to make them feel fresh, new, exciting, very, very good. UI is also being customized in a big way. Uh, nowadays, we can probably probably get rid of LVUI at this point. Most of most UI-based add-ons, uh, well, you know, they'll still offer their perks and their benefits, but now we've got a lot more freedom to move the interface about. Uh, putting the map right in the middle of the screen, maybe not the best idea, uh, but, you know, each to their own. There is some new dungeons to be had. There's eight new dungeons coming in, four what they consider level-up dungeons, and then four end-game dungeons. I've deliberately chosen not to test the dungeon so I have no idea if they're good I have no idea if they're bad I want to wait until the game goes live to experience those for the first time but it will release with all eight dungeons which is very nice to see and of course some of the big news then Dragonflight season one when is the raid going to open the raid is going to open December the 12th it's going to bring a new raid the vault of the incarnates an updated rotation of challenging mythic plus dungeons and a new pvp season Pretty much the same pattern we're used to. Raid, ta raid testing is happening this week on the beta. If you have access to this beta, you can jump on, make some pre-made characters, get in there and test some of the raiding for yourself. A new item, itemized uh, item level scaling system in the raid, meaning that each boss will drop slightly higher as you progress through it, item level gear. Um, and there's even been some slightly... Uh, interesting changes, personal loot is being given the kick by the looks of things in favour of a group loot system, which is uh, certainly caused a bit of a stir, especially if you take a look on the forums today. Um, yeah, people would think the world's uh, on fire at the moment with the uh, with these changes, but we'll see how they play out. Uh, either way, new raid. This is going to be starting on the December the 12th, presumably meaning that we have ourselves... A week or two, two weeks in this scenario to be able to play through, level up a few characters, maybe get our professions in order, get those alts in, get start leveling with some of the new factions. It's not mentioned here, but there's four new major factions in Dragonflight, which are going to be fun to explore. And if you're like me, a bit of a profession and profession, profession crafting, gathering, auction house kind of player, uh, there's lots to explore there as well. And for those of you that are still playing catch up, there is a Winds of Wisdom 50% experience buff is making a return. This goes to show if enough people jump and shout about something, Blizzard will usually back down and be like, you know what? Right, sure, here you go. Have your experience gain. Uh, this is going to kick in soon. It doesn't actually state when this kicks in. I wonder if the tweet says uh, October the 4th. Doesn't say in this post, but the, the official tweet says October the 4th for the 50% experience buff. So another week before this kicks in. But then you can get all those characters, get your ults leveled up to 60, get everybody ready. If you're leveling a new main, then you've got opportunities to level as well. And of course, it wouldn't be a Blizzard post if they didn't give you the option to pre-purchase Dragonflight today. So get out there, get your, get your pre-purchases in if you care for that sort of thing. I understand a lot of people like to wait and see a finished product. Um, but now we have a release date. I'm hyped. I'm, I'm excited for this. It was sort of, you know, we, we heavily suspected that this was going to be the case in the run-up to Christmas and the festive period. But it's nice to see that it's, it's official now. We can talk about it. We have a goal to work towards. So I'll leave it there, boys and girls. The link for this article, if you want to have a read yourself, is down below. So go check it out. Um, from this point onwards, we are pretty much going to be focused on the beta for the most part. The content up on the channel will be beta-related content. Now that we have a date of it being released, we can start to push out some, some of the guides and some of the information to get you guys ready, get you guys caught up. So stay tuned for that. Or come check us out over on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Manthius. We're streaming pretty much every single day at the moment. So you can probably catch us live and you can jump in and come and ask some questions. Love to see you. But I'll leave it there for today, boys and girls. Let me know in the comments down below 
Uh, if this is what you suspected, are you hyped? Are you not? Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know. I'll see you all next time, though, boys and girls. Have a good one. Peace.